Hi, Gemini, Siberia from Cats and Cards. I have Angel Aura Quartz here. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and North Node. Gemini, I'm going to get a couple of quick messages out. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm available for personal reads at this time. I'll leave everything you need to know in the description box. So let's get right into it for general messages for Gemini placements, please. Happy, happy birthday. So Gemini, you're coming out of some type of hard... Um, hardship, misfortune, um, disappointment, setbacks. It's mirroring this uh, connection, this two-way street or this telephone card. I feel like there's energies that are trying to keep you here. You have Cancerian energy. You also have Taurus energy, the number 25. Um, somebody always wants to add their 25 cents. There's adversity here, but there's also somebody trying to get a hold of you on something. So make sure you're checking your email, um, text messages. Somebody's been trying to get through to you. Give me more here for Gemini placements. You could be uh, um, experiencing this these energies, the rest that I pull up until the 25th of June. Give me more here. The, there's a significance here with June 25th with a Taurus or a Cancer. Somebody wants to make some type of declaration towards you, or this is a contract coming your way, Gemini. This is challenging the status quo. Something was meant for someone else, but now you're getting it. Leo energy, especially by July, something is coming in with a new contract. It's going to have you all up in this reclaiming your power. With this challenging the status quo, I feel like somebody thought you couldn't do it, but you're going to be doing it. So these cards want to flip right out, and I'll be taking those. So at this time, the situation is very likely. You'll be experiencing this the 25th through um, August. Gemini. There's some type of deeper meaning as well as you're traveling through this portal. Someone could fully activate by the time they're 38 years old. Um, there could also be um, a cancer in your energy. For others of you, I'm getting there's some type of hidden resource here. You're going to be provided for along the journey because you see this person walking. They don't have a bag. They don't even have shoes on, but they're walking right to this fountain of youth or this, un, this what, what do you call it? There's When something's a fossil fuel, it runs out, but this is like a forever, this well is never going to dry up. There's a lot of green in your spread right now. Green is heart chakra. There's a lot of people sending love offers your way. There could be one, two, three, four, five people. Because I'm seeing five people stand here on this card and want to make some type of declaration or contract with you. You also have the number seven. Sevens are usually a warning or a teaching moment. And your sevens come with this Leo energy, with this contract, with this manifestation or challenging the status quo. It also comes with this um, Taurus energy, this judgment, this checking the details, this this awareness, it's being too aware sometimes is a bad thing because it means we have an overactive third eye or it means that we review so much that we're aware of that we, are, we don't take the time to look at other print. With these eyeglasses here, I'm just seeing that your third eye is, is wide open. Just continue. Look. With this here too, I'm seeing with this phone card, just somebody make sure you're checking your email over the next 72 hours or checking some type of document over the next 72 hours, checking your work or somebody's checking for you is what I'm getting. Give me fortune cards for Gemini next um, 48 hours to Friday, please. You have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. This person could be a fire sign or another Aries. Waiting for news, package, or letter. Bird perched. Compliments from an admirer. Bouquet. Gemini, you also have bridge. Successfully overcoming a problem. What else for Gemini? You have rooster. Arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. You have a lot of secret admirers here, Gemini. You have at least two to five because there's another secret admirer card, Vase. What else? So there's a lot of people watching you at this time. I, I, I want to say with that telephone, that communication, there's two to seven people watching you. Seahorse, family matters. So this could be family matters within a masculine situation because usually the masculine seahorse carries the babies. Lobster, financial pinch. There could be a water sign that you're dealing with or there could be emotional issues that are connected to your money. What else here? 
and we'll take those wall misunderstanding in reverse no you completely understand gemini i think the energies around you are the ones that don't handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important what are these other cards and you have discord among fr friends or family mice Ax Gemini forces working against you, but those are put in the reverse because the card was in reverse, so they will be working against you. They just won't be prevailing. Bull, do not back down from opposition, so show strength and fortitude. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition and tower. Solid foundation, success with effort. So putting in work at this time is going to be what you should be focused on. Uh, it's like somebody keeps wanting you to hit this wall or somebody keeps living to misunderstand you. This great wall gives me like the great wall of China, just massive. Something is never ending with someone that um, continues to want to misunderstand a situation. Um, what is Gemini transmuting the next two, I almost said two hours, the next two days to Friday? So these cards flipped over. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to get a few more out here. So you're unlocking some type of path or destiny. The number 38 is here again. So you have 38, 38 in your reading. 3 and 8 is also 11. So something you wished for is coming to fruition. You have Taurus energy, and it's definitely... Um, dealing with abundance this is self-indulgent this is something sudden a lot of people are see i feel like they're trying to unlock ways to get to you as well because if you are a feminine you're looking very sensuous right um if you're a masculine you're very stable um loyal this giving money energy see there's some type of energy here where hmm. see there's broken ass energies that want to come in and stop your money. This bankrupt energy is also poverty mindset or childhood trauma or triggers coming in to kind of like uh, take you off the beaten path. This is also someone that is saying these things about you. This child neglect card comes into me as traumatizing. Wealthy man energy is in the reverse. Money, uh, giving money energy is also in reverse. So there's something that you're honing in on. It's like you're working on your money. There could be some type of emotional energy where it's creating restrictions, where you don't feel as creative. You don't feel like uh, channeling your libido. There's something that is dis doing a disservice to your motivation. So make sure you... Uh, find out what that is and get rid of that obstacle you may have a square off with someone over the next two weeks that's not for everyone you could be dealing with another air sign this unexpected energy comes in let me get the rest of these cards out here before i start talking yeah yeah this is somebody trying to run up and run up on you it could be a family member that has some type of issues this is also racing thoughts this could be you thinking badly about yourself or about your parenting or this could be just something that comes back to haunt you every now and then it's like that sudden energy it's that shoe fly energy but there's also with that there's also insight, invention, freeing yourself, an unorthodox energy where you can create and alchemize from. So remember that. Uranus energy also gives me Saturday and Sunday. There's Venus energy here. There could be a Libra um, trying to connect with you. Or you could be feeling not as lighthearted, especially when it comes to like your 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 personal look. It's like you're trying to... You have a struggle with that. It's like you you personally are trying to come into a level of ascension that other people don't understand. They just see you as wealth, luxury, and they want to indulge in you. But be careful of that energy. You have this fame, this fortune card. It's in the reverse. I feel like you're hiding out because, look, you're uninterested in this. This is always going to remain true. The number 10 is here. This also gives me October. So until October, it's like these astrological transits are in your favor for being recognized, for having a great reputation for other people wanting to come in on your energy there's achievement there's power it's like you're building an empire here but just don't let people drive you away from that purpose because it's coming in so let's see um let's get a couple more out here and then look at your finances gemini um give me a couple more for gemini and then we'll look at finances what should gemini know at this time love on the brain there's a lot of people reminiscing about you this could be enemy energy or this could just be like the same type of people coming in 
Watch out. Um, the number 52 is here. Five and two is seven. There's also teaching moments and lessons with em enemies. They're truly going to reveal themselves if they haven't already. Give me Kipper for the next 48 to 72 hours for Gemini, and then we'll take a look at your money and close out the reading. So this message of concern comes in with the same shit, different day card. It's like, you're not really even thinking about everybody else. You already know what's going on out there. You don't really care. The number 33, this is a mastery over mind, body, and soul. The lover's card is here, a choice or a decision about some type of message that's coming in. You could be turning someone down that is um, giving you a love offer. You also have seven, 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 seven in your reading. So this seven comes in with this message. So watch out who you're connecting with, especially in the manners of love. It's just people that want to come in and look, this is all they want. They want to give you these peace offerings. They want to be in your energy, but that's literally all they want. Message card. It could be somebody that you were with. That wants to be back with you this occupation card comes out sideways you're going to be having your hands in several things jim and i making money all right let's look at your money with this occupation card the number 34 is here um you could have done something over the past three years and now it's finally coming um full square because there's no circle in here there's only squares and squares the restrictions so you know you're doing something right if you have restrictions um that are coming back up so give me this occupation card for jim and i please Spirit. give me more here there could be a capricorn coming in um you're gonna have to sacrifice not putting others first for a while with this for the greater good it's like you are a martyr you could work in therapy work you could work in exercise or like some type of you're mastering some type of knowledge to move on to the next level and work Something could have been a temporary block, but now in the next four days, that's coming open for you. This sacrifice down for the cause, I feel like you're going to get help from your ancestors along the way with these cross. Um, it's like the, it's like you prayed for this. Uh, you're going to be dominating the force in whatever you do, masculine or feminine. You also have the number 96 here. 96 problems but mastery ain't one being stuck ain't one give me more for this occupation card for gemini please see here come these energies again it could be a libra they want to come in and like it's echo chamber you're repeating the same mistakes or you're repeating the same energies they're hyper focused on something this is all you need to worry about is moving forward you're the horse with the blinders here and you're just moving forward whether you got to run over somebody step over the ass or shot on them this is what you're doing but there's somebody that keeps coming in with this narrow victim mentality and it's annoying me i've seen this about every reading for you gemini for the last four weeks um what else is coming in here as far as this occupation card what should gemini know about their money this is going to be very fun for you um you show right up gemini as stepping into something without worry fear or doubt by wednesday you could be dealing with a virgo or this is just you taking more of a leadership role in your life. Now, something does take a, a repetition in motion. Something does make you nervous, but I feel like you're very defensive over what you got going on here. This could be energy standing in your way, wanting to like stop you, but it's not, it's not working anymore. The number 99 is here again. Just be on guard for these energies that show up. They're just, it's like they're, they have nothing going on in their lives because it says passing time here and needs care. These are the people that need help in their life, not you at this time. Just don't ignore these energies because this source, an infinite, um, unending, or this source and unending abundance is coming towards you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or there could be a Scorpio wanting to connect with you. You're getting rid of some type of baggage or this is like clearing out energy in your house. You're ready for the next phase of life. There's going to be a flow of resources that come in for you, Gemini. What should Gemini know about this unlocking? What should Gemini know about this unlocking? This falls right in my lap. The seven of wands, something is worth fighting for. There's two eagles here. So eagles, eagles are used to see eager. Eagles are usually the messenger of the gods. And eagle energy comes in as high-flying, all-knowing, omnipotent, omniscient. Um, Mars energy, today where I live is Monday. So something by 
Tuesday is coming in for you. What's coming in Tuesday for Gemini, please? That Mars energy is you get what you get. Somebody thought that you were going to get something that wasn't going to be enough and it was going to have you fighting and crying. No, this is actually worth fighting for, whatever you were handed. You are enough and you finna be the boss at it. The Nine of Pentacles is here. And you also have, you have Eagle and Hawk energy. Those are the two most divine um, birds of prey in the sky besides the Phoenix. The tower card, a reckoning because of misaligned values. Yeah, so whoever was whoever has been trying to stop you from something, it could be an Aries, it could be a Taurus, it could be another Gemini, Gemini. Um, there's the tower card here. And they're going to be in the position that they tried to have you in, blocked. No movement, no nothing. What should Jim and I know about new work coming in? The Three of Cups. You could be a bartender, or you could be going to bartending school, or there's somebody that is going to drunk call you or drunk text you. It's like these energies keep coming in for one last romantic gesture or say. They keep wanting to come in. Um, you could be meeting someone at your new job, and they want to like try to hook up with you. For others of you, this Page of Cups is just something that you love doing that you're going to be prospecting in. But I feel like this under the influence energies are these energies that you need to close out before you can truly, truly move on to the next phase. And you'll be doing that by Saturday or Sunday of this week for some of you. Give me more for this new work. For others of you, you could be in like the music or entertainment industry. For some of you, you could be a bartender or you could be creating a new drink. You could be uh, you could be creating clothing or um, somebody here could be a seamstress that, look guys, if you are keeping yourself from putting out new work, don't do that. That excessive control. Sometimes everything doesn't need to be absolutely perfect before you put it out. It's like it takes time to hone in on a skill. Aries energy, being more shrewd with your schedule, having more control over your schedule of time management is here. Emperor card in reverse also gives me a person that needs to control everything. There could be a masculine coming in that wants to control every move, every outcome. Heeding the call, you're not going to be listening to it. It's like you, there's a greater calling and you're not going to sit here and listen to that. The Eight of Cups. These people have lack of direction anyways. They need you more than you need them. There's this guitar that keeps showing up in these pictures. Like somebody wants to, somebody has this guitar, but there's a lack of ideas. There's a lack of creativity because of their forcefulness or how they've handled a situation with you. By Saturday, there could be more of these energies coming in with a lack of ideas, lack of direction. Just make sure you stay away from people, especially if you're trying to be in a career, uh, creative mode. We have Gemini Lee. Libra, Aquarius. We also have Pisces energy. There may be a Pisces that you're dealing with that needs to heed the call or they're having a lack, uh, they're having a lack of like creative downloads. That's it. Over this next week, it's just like tiredness. It could be like um, not really wanting to communicate or not being able to say exactly what's on your mind. And sometimes just being around a lot, around a lot of energies do that to you. No action or movement. If there's a Libra coming towards you, just take no action right now, especially if somebody's trying to throw you off your circle or your square. This person is coming in with a lot of baggage. There's at least four to seven people coming in with a lot of baggage. And for some... Oh, Gemini, you're going to be going on a trip. So, Gemini, you could be going on a trip by July for some of you. I see all these bags here. It's, this is something you manifested as well. Just watch out for overspending, but it looks like you'll be having fun. So that is a few of your energies. Thank you, Gemini. Please like, subscribe.